Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Glow by Shaw. So obviously this is kind of different for me because it's my first vlog. So I'm actually gonna go to get my nails done and I'm gonna go Oxford Street and do a bit of shopping and get some food and you know, a few cocktails, you know. So I've done my makeup, but I haven't done my lips. As you can see, the light in, in my room is so and I can't bother to like set up my lighting equipment so i think i like did like a wonky line at the bottom but we move <laughs> um anyway so then i'm now gonna put some like lipstick like a pink lipstick just to like give like a pink base so you can see like it's just giving like a nice little pink base yeah i just grabbed this lip gloss that i got from a lovely company on instagram called noir harmony another nice little pink base because I like like pink, pink kind of nude combo. I'm gonna go ahead with Revlon. I don't know what this is, 207, it's called Sky Pink. So I'm just gonna apply that. Sorry if you can hear like noise in the background, it's my um, fan. Uh, so I'm just gonna apply that. And then I'm gonna put some e.l.f. Um, pink Cosmo lip plumping gloss put that over I don't even know I can't I feel like I can't really see but it's fine I'm gonna like obviously check before I leave my house and then yeah I'm just gonna apply more lip liner just to just blend everything to go all right i've just grabbed the clear lip gloss so again it's from the same instagram company um noir harmony i really like this lip gloss clear lip gloss because it's not too sticky it's like it's just right so i just like to just put that on top just to just give it like a lip gloss popping kind of look and yeah that's my lip gloss combo for today okay so now i'm actually gonna pack my stuff and like get ready to leave my house and yeah i'll check in with you guys when i'm in the nail shop i'm thinking to do short i never do short nails i'm thinking to do short but uh, i don't know i don't know i put this So I'm thinking to get the Charlotte Tilbury spray and get some perfume here. So yeah. So I had to get the powder, this finishing powder, and the spray. So I'm gonna check how that turns out. Perfume. I think it's get the Lancome one, but you know, I don't know. In Zara, I'm trying to get perfume, and the famous MB Wood obviously sold out. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, this is crazy.
so we just thought let me just give it a try you know like the menu's looking decent we're gonna get some cocktails as well i'm actually starving because i've been shopping all day and i'm, I'm finna eat i'm finna eat <laughs> but yeah what drinks you want to get strawberry, strawberry daiquiri corn star martini Shaggy rolls. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, look. Shaggy rolls. Yeah, let's get that then. So yeah, I'm thinking to get sushi, but sushi. I feel like we should get more sides. Like more sides. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to eat. Yeah, I'm trying to. Eat. Yo, this place coming different. I'm trying to, I'm trying 
got another, what is it called again? Mango passion fruit daiquiri. So what are we going to do? Are we going to do the shots first or are we going to do the drink? The shots, isn't it? Okay, hold on, let me... Where's the salt? Put the salt in my thing, please. <laughs> like, bro. I'm so far. Oh my god, the salt's gone. Wait, we're going to be so Alright, what do you do? Do you lick? You lick the, um, do you lick it? Sis, do you lick the salt? No, but you lick the salt, right? Doing it again. 
because you only live once. Go hear me go. I'm too sexy to be boring. So you only live you only live once. Okay. Right. I change no diapers. Fuck you mean. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And motherfucking stressed and depressed about a piece of me and it ain't motherfucking mad. Bitch, you shit serious? Hell to the motherfucking no. I'm not gonna lie, I can drink this. I can drink this forever. I feel like if I go to another, if I go to another restaurant or like a bar or anything like that, and they ain't got no, they ain't got no motherfucking. Oh guys, I'm swearing, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> they ain't got no mango and passion fruit daiquiri. <laughs> Listen, hear what I say, yeah? Oh, please, I mean, they ain't even my ambitions, you serious?
vlog um i was shattered um first of all i was a bit like you know tipsy drunk whatever um i was shattered from like the shopping all day kind of thing the fact that i was like obviously had a makeup on as well like that was just jarring me like it was just jarring me like i don't know why like i just feel like i'm never gonna do that again like i tend to go shopping like this anyways like i have no makeup on at the moment but i tend to kind of go shopping with no makeup on kind of thing so i just feel like i don't know i wanted to feel cute in it but I, I like you know that's just a one-time thing i'm not i don't think i'm actually gonna start doing that again like i feel like if i do wear makeup and i go shopping um I probably might be just going for like one or two things like not like big big shopping like bags and stuff like that like it's just not it's just too much so um yeah so i'm gonna obviously continue on the vlog and show you guys what i bought um and stuff like that um so i did go to a few shops i don't really get like crazy makeup and do you know what i mean like no um and i feel like a lot of makeup that i particularly am um, thinking to buy um they're mostly online like i feel like going to the store trying to find your shade like they never have stock like the Too faced um concealer the multi-way concealer i believe it's called um in butterscotch like literally that particular shade is gone like it's just every time i go into selfridges to Too faced they tell me it's like it's like it's been out of stock for like months apparently it's been out of stock for like six months like what's going on so it's just like a lot of stuff i just feel like i'm gonna get like online um and i'll probably might do like another vlog uh, not another vlog sorry like a makeup haul um for that and it's just gonna be like just mainly like just makeup but anyways i'm rambling on um let me just show you guys what i got so obviously i showed you guys um that i went to charlotte tilbury um section in john lewis and luckily they had 20 percent off like a promotion going on i was gassed i was gassed i was gassed so i was able to get the famous airbrush flawless setting spray which i've been meaning to get a new setting spray for a hot minute now anyways because the setting sprays i'm currently using i just feel like it's either not working anymore or it's actually making me more oily and i feel like i've i've like kind of like um what was i gonna say i feel like i've come up with like some sort of routine to actually prevent that and i think it's just like it's now i'm just like trying to find the right setting spray i feel like i'm gonna do like a separate video on that anyways in it but yeah so i got that um so i'm, I'm gonna go, i can't wait to use that sorry and then i got the uh what is this called i got the powder that everyone kind of got it's like a air, oh yeah airbrush flawless finish powder so i got that in the shade I got that in the shade two and i feel like obviously well they were they had 20 percent off so i just thought like these are the two items that i see and the magic cream but the magic cream is 80 pounds 80 pounds yeah like no for moisturizer no so um i feel like obviously those three shot um those three um, items are the ones that I tend to kind of see everyone buy. So I've got the shade two. Um, I know it looks really, really light, but the purpose of me using this, I think I'm just going to use it under my eye and a bit of my like T, T zone, a little T zone, sorry, a little bit, but I'm not going to be doing it all over my face or anything like that. I just want like that airbrush finish. So I've heard good things. So um, I'll be doing like a makeup tutorial or anything like that with this so you guys can see how that looks. So I can't wait to use that. Um, and then I've got a um, liquid blush from Fenty got a liquid blush i'm really into liquid cream blushes sorry um before i was a bit hesitant like when they first kind of like started coming out I, I was a bit hesitant a bit but now i feel like um i'm more open to it because i tried the elf one which was a drugstore one and i wanted to try a drugstore one before i got like a high-end brand and I really was, I really, I really liked the finish and how it made my makeup look. So I got um, the shade Summer Summertime Wine. The lady at the shop told me that it was really um, like a nice shade to start off with. So this is how it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Um, 
again i'll probably do like a tutorial on this and you guys can also see how that looks like i know i'm quite late to the game with the liquid blushes but for me it's like when there's a hype on like makeup sometimes i feel like it's a bit overwhelming so i kind of like to go just purchase at my own pace kind of thing because uh, i ain't rich yet so i can't be like keeping up with all of these like new products that are coming out um all the time so yeah i've got that um so i'm excited to use that um what else did i get i went to primark <laughs> and yeah i didn't do you know what i spent i spent a decent amount but i didn't go like crazy like i normally do but i feel like i'm very very happy with like the items that i bought because obviously with winter coming up i felt like i didn't really have like winter clothes so this is like a good kind of like starter pack for me buying like my autumn winter fall type um outfits and stuff like that so um obviously as i mentioned winter is coming up so i found these boots from primark so i've already got like a long um knee boots anyways i got that last year i believe um but due to the pandemic like i wasn't really go going out it was lockdown so i only wore them once but then i, I know i needed like a sh ankle boot type thing so i found these which are like really really cute like really okay maybe i'm not like showing you guys properly so you guys see but they're actually really 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 cute and they were only like 18 pounds so and they seem like they go with everything so i got a size five in them so i'm actually quite excited to wear these with some leather pants some jumpers a fur jacket like yeah you know the with the winter vibes so i got that and then i got this jumper which i thought was kind of cute the winter as well it's quite soft you know can't really go wrong I don't know if you guys can see hold on let me go back a bit so you guys can actually see the full items so yeah the jumper it's just like a nice woolly brown kind of jumper and then it's like is it wide on the arms a bit and then it, it's like quite um it's what am i trying to say what the hell am i trying to say what i'm trying to say it's a basically a cute jumper yeah and it will go with like more or less everything that's the jumper and then i got these joggers these gray joggers like the material i don't know if you guys can see but it's not like that typical jersey material it's a bit thicker i believe so it kind of gives it more of a more expensive look if that makes sense so you don't look so cheap anyways um sorry um so yeah so i've got those because i just feel like you can never not have enough joggers and this, these are the bottoms so yeah it's kind of cute it's cute isn't it it's little gray jo um, joggers so you can't really go wrong with that again wear that with like anything really crepe you know like quick things errands you know anything so then i've got that and then um got this bodysuit from primark as well oh sorry so the price for those joggers were like 12 pounds which is all right um and then i've got the bodysuit please i don't know what's happening with primark but it's giving it's giving very much nice material fitted like I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is but it's not like skimpy you know it's just giving very much the quality if that makes sense so yeah like primark are really like stepping up their game anyways yeah so i've got that and this was like six pounds so this is the bodysuit so yeah this is kind of again it's a nice color it will kind of even it will even go with these like joggers which is cute so i ain't really mad at that like so yeah love that and then i've got that was. anyways um but yeah this is like a nice um tie up um i don't know what type, what type of top this is but it's like a tie up you tie it but yeah it was just giving me grown 
you know and i thought you'll look nice with the boots and like some leather trousers and stuff um but yeah this is how it looks and then this is the strings that tie it together so this is i don't know if you guys can see the vision but anyways when it's on it looks cute so yeah that's that and then i've got these velvet plush fox fur lined leggings for winter um hello i've been meaning to get this for a hot minute the first time i saw these it was like really hot it was like july june so i just thought i know we're in london and we don't really have the greatest weather but i just thought i don't really need it at that time but i think obviously as i said with winter coming up these will be essential like this is going to be essential so i've got that it was like six pounds and i'll show you the inside so it's just normal leggings but it's got the fur inside warm i'm gonna be warm like a polar bear and then i've got this brown top uh, it's like those like tops that are like, in trend right now that like, everyone's and like you know you can get in dresses as well and it's like quite quite um i think it's like um I'm not really good at explaining things if you guys have not noticed so yeah but anyways i'm just gonna show you so this is how it looks like but yeah i just got that i just thought it was mad cute like you again can't go wrong like with this type of top so i got that and it's cute can't wait to wear it that one was like um eight pounds so i'm not mad at that sorry in terms of makeup wise i did get sorry i missed the an item but yeah i did also get the nyx bear with me i, to I kind of re-upped re -upped on it um this is like the best dupe to max fix plus so um it's a drugstore version and it's i just really i really like it it's a it's nyx bear with me set, set in multitasking spray um and it primes sets and refresh but i feel like it's more of a refresher than a setting powder um, but yeah, as I said, it's like a good dupe to the Max Fix Plus. So if you guys kind of don't want to spend the price of a high-end brand, then you can get like a drugstore version. And I can actually vouch that this is actually really good. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, so obviously, you know, in the vlog, I did mention that I got some perfume. So I re-upped on the face. So obviously, I know I said in the vlog that Zara did say that they're out of stock of the Ebony Wood, but... They wasn't out of stock in that particular store. I think obviously we just asked the wrong person. You know, like Zara employees, like sometimes they're not really that helpful. No shade. Um, so I got the Ebony Wood. I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully it focuses. Yeah, I got the Ebony Wood perfume. Um, it, this is a collab with Joe Malone. So if you guys are familiar with Joe Malone, they, they do like um, candles and stuff like that, but they're like really, really expensive um but yeah um they actually teamed up with zara and they did a few like perfumes and stuff so this is one of the famous scents like, the, the smell is really nice in terms of long lasting i mean you have to spray a lot i wouldn't say it's long lasting but i think it's a good everyday kind of perfume yeah. but then the star of the show the star of the show i got um the lancome the via la belle i've had this perfume before but i'm really bad with perfume like i tend to buy it wear it it finishes and then i don't buy it again so i'm actually starting to like feel like okay look like i'm coming i'm transitioning into like the woman that i want to be you know so i'm <laughs> um yeah I, basically what i'm trying to say is i'm kind of building like a perfume collection kind of thing so i'm trying to get better with my perfumes because i should be if that makes sense um so i've got that and it's a nice sweet smell and luckily again you know my girl bossed me she got a student discount so i was able to get 20 percent off so it went down from like so i got the 50 mil it went down from like 80 to like i got it for like 60 well it was 70 and i got it for 60 one of the two but yeah banging so i'm gonna be using that my new scent yeah that's all i got and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog like i felt like it was really like fun to kind of like you know do something different and stuff like that obviously because i'm like branching off and i don't want to kind of like put myself in a box obviously i'm going to be doing another video on like a life update and stuff like that but um i don't want to put myself in a box and stuff so it was kind of nice to kind of 
go out of my comfort zone and obviously do a vlog anyways i'm rambling on so make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you want you can turn on your post notification and be notified when i do upload a new video see you guys soon love you guys so much bye